Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP ProBook 445G7 model and in this video I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can install the windows and the proper way of the installing windows without having any bloatware in it. I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. All right, in this video, I'm just gonna show you on this HP Pro book how you can install the Windows. So all you wanna do is put the USB drive in any of the USB ports. And I'm gonna use the one right in here. And you're gonna power on the laptop. As soon as you power on, you wanna keep tapping on escape key. And keep tapping until you see a menu appear on the top right side. And then you get the startup menu. From this startup menu, you wanna go down to uh, boot menu. And then you wanna press enter. And then from here, you wanna choose your USB drive, which mine is a SanDisk 3.2 Gen 1. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna click enter. Now what's gonna do is gonna read the image from the Windows image from here, and it's gonna take me to the installation uh, progress. And there we go. We have the installation on a Spanish language, but it's the same thing for English, same button, same location. So you're gonna click continue, click install now, and click I accept the terms and licensing. If you wanna read it, take a few hours reading it, click continue. In here, it's very important clicking on the bottom on the custom installation, right on the bottom, don't click on the top one, click on the bottom one, personalize. Now down here, you're gonna see drive zero, drive zero. You wanna click on everything that says drive zero, everything that you have your windows and you wanna delete all of these partitions. Click one by one and click delete. And it's pretty much gonna be one big partition. Click delete until you see one big partition drive zero. But if you have two hard drives, you're gonna see drive zero, drive one. So that means if you wanna format all of them, delete all of them. Now I'm gonna install my Windows in the main drive, which I have only one NVMe in there. So I'm gonna click on that one, click continue. You don't need to click on new, just click continue, next. And now it's gonna create all those partitions that we just deleted and it's gonna reinstall Windows and it should take a few minutes and it's gonna do a one or twice restart and it's gonna take you out to a welcome screen. All right, now it's doing the first restart. It is very important that you're not plugging your laptop to a Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection or anything like that. You wanna skip that part. It's very, very important unless you're gonna get, if you do that, you get lots of bloatware installed on your system. So do not connect to the internet. That's the key essential part of this video. So I'm just gonna let this one run until it takes me to a uh, welcome screen. All right, now it's gonna choose your region. I'm gonna choose Mexico. You can choose whatever region you live in. And keyboard layout, whatever keyboard layout, I'm gonna leave it default. And in here, just click uh, next. And now this is very important. You do not wanna to connect to the internet. You have an internet Wi-Fi, click I don't have internet in the corner left. Next step, you wanna click limited configuration. Do not click on a connect now, click on a limited connection. And now you can put the laptop name and all the information, which already have it installed. Put the password if you want to, and it's gonna take you to the desktop really quickly. So we just wanna wait until we get to the desktop. All right, now that we are in the desktop, you just wanna quickly click maybe later and come to the start menu and you see all these arrows and there's a whole bunch of them in here in this box. You wanna right click on every one of them and you wanna remove it from here. It says unpin and click right click and click unpin from the taskbar here from the start menu, unpin. Once you unpin all of this, that means they will not get installed. Those are the Candy Crush, McAfee antivirus, everything like that, they're ready waiting for internet connection to get installed. So you just wanna unpin them. Once you unpin them, 
then right away you can just simply go to configuration, go down to the Windows update and run the Windows update for at least 20 minutes and all the drivers, everything is gonna get installed. Just the Windows installation exactly without fast forwarding, I'm looking at the screen, it took me 10 minutes and 30 seconds to get to this point. So after 10 minutes, you'll be doing a Windows update, I'll say another five to 10 minutes probably, and then you have your Windows freshly installed, ready to go. And this is the best way to install your Windows 10 uh, of the USB drive, all right? And now uh, regarding your license, if you have a Windows 10 license in key or stuff that it was original, so what happens before formatting, you want to uh, go to the Windows, uh, assign your account to the, go to here, configuration, sign in with your account. Once you sign in with your account, then um, now after formatting, you come back, you sign, log in with your account, it's going to activate the Windows automatically. So the CD key is registered with the motherboard, not with the uh, installation. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos.